It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. You better take big chances in order for the potential for a big positive outcome. Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Hope you are well today. I have been getting some excellent viewing numbers with regards to updates uh, of the Resorts World uh, project. Obviously, it is uh, an important project for The Boring Company prior to them starting the Las Vegas Loop, which is going to be a 34 and a half plus mile project um very interesting to see progress on this on this job for for my perspective as well hopefully you guys continue to be interested in that but i thought we would look at that uh today as things seem to be going quite quite well i'll explain as to why uh after i've gone through the the, the photographs that i've received uh thanks to a very kind contributor thank you so much to that uh, very wonderful person uh okay so results well progressing very nicely. Uh, obviously the first project didn't go quite according to plan. There's some issues with regards to the uh, conveyor belt system that weren't uh, uh, identified prior to the start of the project. Those issues have been rectified. The whole system has been uh, upgraded considerably and we're looking to see massive improvements on this project and forthcoming projects as well. So all in all, I mean, things are going pretty fantastically. Um, you may have seen some pictures that I posted on Twitter and on a recent video. Um, I have some more pictures. Let's have a look. Uh, in fact, prior to do that, prior to looking at those pictures, let's just have a look at how this whole scheme is uh, progressing in terms of how it's going to look in the long term. So, you you may remember that there were some plans on the board company website for a circular loop system and the, the long-term goal is is to achieve that uh, i had uh, a bit of um uh, well quite a large disagreement with uh, our favorite part-time scientist and paper writer thunderfoot in regards to the shape of that system obviously the plans showed this uh layout in green that is what they were building that is what is currently being operated uh with a throughput of around 800 vehicles uh, per hour maximum um sorry 800 passengers per hour maximum my apology so this is this is quite a, a decent uh, layout now um the the area in red here is around 0 0.52 two miles approximately i don't know the exact route um that this tunnel is taking i have a fairly good guesstimate as to where it's going which is what i'm showing you here in in red so we've got 0 0.52 miles uh, they're constructing this there is no phase three anyone telling you there is a phase three um probably a, a little bit confused uh they're doing they're, they're boring this essentially with one tbm in one fellow swoop um and then they will uh, excavate for the station adjacent to station three uh, at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So, um, the, the the bit in red here, um, they actually started, uh, they actually turned on the, the TBM on, I believe, in and around the, the last couple of days of July and the 1st of August, 2022. Um, so we've got the green bit here, which has already been constructed, where we had some problems. The bit in red is, is, is likely to be a lot smoother, we hope. It seems to be fairly smooth. Now, why do I think it's going fairly smoothly? Well, there's large amounts of spoil being removed from the rear of the machine via the conveyor belt system. And there are large numbers of, of deliveries of concrete segments or concrete lining uh, being delivered fairly regularly every few hours to the site. And the fact that they're, they're kind of moving through that logistics process indicates to me that they are doing quite well. Now, um, the, 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 there can't really be another explanation as to what's going on. But uh, if anyone is, is in and around this area and you have some time, wait on the road uh, just up from here and count the number of trucks that are coming in and how many segments they are dropping off. That would be quite useful information. If, if there's three deliveries per day uh, and they're dropping off you know, 30, 40 segments, then that indicates some serious uh, progress. I believe it's uh, four segments per ring beam, although they have done it differently on previous projects. It might be five concrete segments per ring beam. So we, we, we'll, we'll work that out as and when we, we get more information. But as you can see, uh, our retaining wall is in. They're using these uh, precast concrete uh, 
retaining wall uh, segments, which I, which I quite like, as, you, as I keep telling you guys, I do like prefabrication. It has crept into the industry uh, quite rapidly over my time uh, since leaving university and uh, uh, today, and uh, the further prefabrication improves quality, reduces costs, and uh, reduces the time required to build things. So uh, all in all, very, very good. So you've already seen those, those pictures. You've probably already seen this picture here on the left-hand side. Uh, again, uh, we can see our conveyor belt uh, kind of uh, system here at the back. That's not been connected. Uh, we can see our cradle just here. Um, and and the, the, there's, there's, there's a need for a conveyor belt uh, system to essentially connect the uh, the rear part of the TBM proof rock to this conveyor belt system. And then it can be uh, uh, rolled out as it were. Um, okay, so... Um, this is Riviera Station where they're starting, basically. Uh, what else have we got? So, um, as you can see, this is now um, late, very, very late July, early August. The conveyor belt system is connected. It's connected up to our kind of conveyor belt system here. Um, they're still kind of connecting it up here and, and, and activating it. Uh, some concrete segments have been uh, built here. Um, the, the, the TBM is still uh, uh, ready to go. The cutter head is in this position here. This is where we start to make excellent um, progress. So they, they appear to they appear to have become very very um, competent at assembling these various segments. So this back end of the machine that, that kind of connects up the um, the actual conveyor belt for bringing. Uh, uh, spoil out and the actual trucks for bringing segments in appears to have been connected very very quickly over a period of, of, of several uh, days quite quickly uh, and then connected up uh, tested and then activated um, and then at this point it then begins boring and, and this is very very good to see very very good to see that they can essentially commission that that proof rock tbm at record paces much much quicker than we've seen at the L Las Vegas Convention Center project and uh, phase one of the Resorts World, uh, and even the kind of uh, test tunnels um, at Adelante and uh, Bastrop. So things are getting fast, and, and that's that's great for, for me to see from a program perspective. How how are they kind of sequencing their tasks together and, and lining this up for the most important aspect of that critical path, which is the boring uh, part where they're essentially boring through the ground with the TBM. So we're looking very, very early August here where they've actually penetrated the, the ground. Um, no subsidence in this area here, which is interesting. So so that's a good thing. I don't know if they pre grouted this area. It doesn't seem as though they have, uh, but that's a, there seems to be an opening here. So maybe there is some subsidence. But uh, uh, that's what was always a concern for me is that we we're gonna see subsidence in this area adjacent to um, the actual launch pits. But uh, looks like they've covered it up and there doesn't seem to be any more um, further down the actual site there. Uh, another thing that I've, I've noticed here is they've installed um, a ventilation system, uh, much, much uh, lower diameter than the previous systems that they've installed. Uh, I think previously it was, it was over 18 and a half inches, 19 inches, something along that. Uh, this, is, this is closer to 15 inches. Uh, in, in diameter, um, so, so for my friends in Europe, that's just under, uh, just under 400 mil, millimeters. Um, so just over 400 millimeters. So um, that's all looking very, very good. They, they, they either increase the, um, uh, the, the, the pressure of the air they're pushing into uh, the system or, or they've come to the conclusion that they don't need to push as much uh, into the system have to, have, as they have been doing previously uh, and they've just kept essentially the equipment the same and just reduced the, the diameter there. Uh, so things are always changing. This is the great thing about uh, following the boring companies is, is I'm constantly noticing improvements, uh, kind of shortcuts have been uh, adapted to improve the speed of the project. Uh, the quality of the job looks good. Uh, they're finding areas where they can cut costs and, and this is always a great thing for me uh, as a former uh, construction project manager. Um, so all in all, this is this is very, very good. When do I anticipate that this is going to finish? 
early October, um, uh, the last couple of weeks of September, I'm anticipating that this will uh, get very, very close to finishing. I don't know for sure. Uh, there might be some bizarre reason why they have to stop halfway through. But so far, everything is looking very, very good in, in regards to the progress of this uh, project. Um, I will continue to post updates. Uh, hopefully, we'll receive more uh, pictures. Um, and the, the next kind of uh, key pieces of information that I'm going to be looking for are going to be at this spot here. So this is uh, just outside the Resorts World Casino. This is our original tunnel, uh, just as it broke through um, earlier this year. Um, let's do that again. So we know that the TBM at some point in October, early September, is going to break through this area here. But we don't know when. Now, if we start to see work in this area in the next couple of weeks, three weeks time, uh, that would be a bloody good sign. But as of now, this area here, it, it remains almost exactly the same, other than some of these segments have been removed. Uh, and obviously they've, they've, they've connected this up here uh, and, and completed the road deck. But uh, largely this reception shaft has remained the same. But as soon as we start to see activity in this area, we know that uh, proof rock is coming through. Uh, at that point, once that breaks through, we can work out how uh, we can work out how many uh, meters it achieved per day. As we can work out the start date was uh, first of August, and then we can work out the finish date, whether that's early October, late September, and then we can work out if this is a record-breaking uh, uh, boring. I think it will be, but hey, I do occasionally get things wrong. You, you know, every few years I do get things wrong. <laughs> I get things right every day, but I occasionally get things wrong every few years. But we'll have to find out. I have, uh, based on what I'm seeing in terms of spoil removal and the number of segments that are being delivered to site, things are looking very, very rosy. Whether that's consistent, who knows, but we will find out in October. Okay, guys, thanks for joining the video. I really hope you enjoyed the update. I'm going to continue to produce more uh, videos like this. We've got our quarterly update coming up as well in the next couple of days, and hopefully you'll tune in for that one as well. Um, might make that a live stream i hope you guys if you think a live stream for the quarterly update is a good idea then hey you know uh, drop me a comment below and we can even do a bit of a q a session at the end as well uh for for people and more specifically uh our patreons as well so if you're not already done so like the video if you're not already done so subscribe to the channel i really appreciate that comment on the video tell me what your favorite food is tell me why you like the boring company tell me how many uh, Teslas uh, are on your street. Tell me anything you want. I don't care. Write in the comments below. Um, consider supporting on, us on these various uh, uh, applications uh, and also our incredible Patreons. You know who you are. Continue to support me. This is fantastic. You are legends. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and we will see you on the next one. Remember guys, don't be boring. Let me See you on the next video. Goodbye. Damn, I'm good. And with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon.